It's going to happen again and again and again because we're not doing what we have to be doing. Donald Trump raising serious concerns on the campaign trail today in the wake of the devastating attack at an Orlando gay club. We have to maybe check respectfully the mosques and we have to check other places because this is a problem that if we don't solve it, it's going to eat our country alive. Attacking Hillary Clinton and again swing back at President Obama's broadside of his foreign policy. He gives a speech yesterday, a long speech that at the end of it, nobody knew what the hell he was talking about. After this retort Tuesday night. And I watched President Obama today, and he was more angry at me than he was at the shooter. And he isn't backing down on an earlier insinuation that the Obama administration was aligned with ISIS. He doesn't get it, or he gets it better than anybody understands. It's one or the other, and either one is unacceptable. Now, a full-blown accusation, tweeting that despite the media criticism, criticism that extended to top leaders of his own party, Trump, quote, is right, using as evidence a story purporting to show a memo implying the Obama administration's support for ISIS, something the memo does not, in fact, show. Trump is also calling for a meeting with the NRA to discuss barring individuals on the terror watch list from gun purchases. The NRA says it would welcome the meeting, but the group says its position on the issue has not changed, and it continues to support Republican legislation that would expand the ability of law enforcement to block such sales. This, as many GOP leaders in recent days have taken pains to distance themselves from the presumptive GOP nominee. Trump faces bigger problems, the U.S. voters. A new ABC Washington Post survey showing Trump with a 70% unfavorable mark, while a new Bloomberg national poll shows 55% of respondents would never support the New York billionaire. And Trump is trailing Clinton by 12 points. Clinton, seizing on new momentum, hammered Trump again today during a national security event in Virginia. So not one of Donald Trump's reckless ideas would have saved a single life in Orlando. It's just more evidence that he is temperamentally unfit and, and totally unqualified to be commander in chief.